here I am, the light of the world, and my job is the messenger of truth. Why? Lazarito has to break down, you see, my name. I have to break down all of Satan's little lies, you know, because what does the Bible say? He is the father of the liars. He's, he's, he, he was a liar from the beginning, and, and the truth is not in him. So the devil um, has his little agents, and he's always been making lies about God because he is his adversary. He doesn't like Jesus Christ. This is Jesus' book. So, of course, he made lies about everything. What is this book? The King James Version. Holy Bible. What am I going to teach you today? I'm going to show you on the book that I'm at right here. The last one. Okay, let me show you. My goodness, I sometimes you just got to be teaching these, everyone the truth. Everybody is so deceived in this world. What does it say, my friends? Revelation, the book of Revelation. Whose revelation? This is straight from the Bible. I'm showing you. Get it through your noggin, your skulls. The revelation of who? God, Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must short, shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel, his own angel, unto his servant John. And John bore record of the word of God, meaning the word of God is like saying, and he bore record of Jesus, because Jesus is the word of God. And the test and of the testimony of Jesus Christ, and of all the things we that he saw. What does it say here? Blessed is he that readeth. And they that hear. So hear what I'm telling you. Hear the words of this prophecy. And keep those things which are written therein. For the time is at hand. But what, what will you be blessed? By hearing what I got to tell you. The truth. To break down the worldly understanding. Of the satanic lies and blasphemy. What is that lie? There's many lies, but it's the lie of the image or the visage, which is the the face, the the physical face of the Son of God. Who is he truly? Well, this is the revelation of I always gotta focus this thing. The revelation of him. So in this book, it's going to reveal you him. Why does the world have an European image of God's son or God? It's a straight up lie from who? The mother of the harlots, the abominable harlot woman. Remember woman in the Bible, the woman represents the church. There's God's pure church, and there's Satan's abominable, abomin I can't say it, abomination, abominable church. Who is that church, my friends? I mean, if you don't see it, you're pretty dumb. Who is that church? The Roman Catholic Church. The same ones that hung the Lord of the Jews. Up on the tree, the King James Version says tree, on the cross. They crucified him. The Romans were occupying and, and, and had subject the Hebrews of the Lord. I mean, how dumb do you guys get it? 
the enemy of Christ is the Roman Catholic Church. The Pope is the Antichrist beast and his name has the three-digit number. Or do you want me to spell out what the number is or you do not know that either? His name has the mark. He has the three-digit number. He is the, the man of perdition, the man of sin. The beast, he says, the Bible says he's one man who sits, who is the, the head of the mother harlot church? Is that one man. P-O-O-P, -O -O -P, poop, the poop, because he's a poop. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm being kind of funny, but I'm straight up telling you the truth, you know, because I, I'm doing it my way, you know. I like, I like teaching that way, you know, so you get it. He is not the Pope. He's the poop of the devil. The puppet. He's the puppet. He's the puppet. The, the satanic puppet. A child, a child of darkness. A child of wrath. You know. A deceiver. Because his father is a liar and a deceiver. That's why the Bible says. Look, I'm not even reading scripture because I know. I know what it says in here. You know, I can take you to scripture, but look, I know what it says in here. That's why it says that he speaks like a dragon because he's been blaspheming who? The Bible says the inhabitants of heaven. Who are the inhabitants of heaven? And he's been blaspheming who? God himself. The inhabitants of heaven are the angels, the 24 elders, the, the, the king of kings and his father. He's been blaspheming, talking lies, you know, spreading lies, breaking his laws. Told you to worship on Sunday when it's Saturday, Friday, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday. Remember that Sabbath day to keep it holy, commandment number four. You haven't been keeping it because the devil deceived you, you see, and he's putting his mark upon you, upon your forehead. Worshiping on Sunday? No, no, no. That's not godly. That's unholy, my friend. You know, it's he, he's a deceiver. Okay. So, let me see where's the part I want to get. Okay, chapter 4. Okay. Why are they portraying Jesus Christ as some long-haired European? It's straight from the Catholic Church, from the mother harlot, to who? Her daughters of Babylon. Her daughters of the kingdom of confusion or of the dark kingdom of Satan. So that's the mother, the Catholic Church. And she's been spreading her little uh, deceptive lies to her little harlot daughters. The Bible teaches you that. So that's why the little harlots have graven crosses hanging up on the roof. Um, oh, eat whatever you want. Uh, false doctrines. Um, truth mixed with not truth, you know, that's what the devil does, and he gets you, he gets you with that stupidity, unless you know, unless the Holy Spirit wakes you up to all this truth, you know, and, and, and you're armored up in the truth, and then none of that stuff will get you, you know, that's what I'm teaching you all, that's what I'm teaching you all, the God's image that you're seeing, everyone saying, oh, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, and they're putting this European, that's a false image of the world, that's a false image of the devil. Because what does the Bible? The Bible tells you contrary. Why are you not into this? Why are you not reading what it says? Okay. Uh, Revelation chapter 4 and 1. I'm going to read. After this I looked and behold a door was open in heaven. And the first wo voice which I heard was if was it were of a trumpet talking with me which said, Come up hither, and I will show thee things which must be there hereafter. And immediately, immediately I was in the Spirit, and behold, a throne was set in heaven, and one sat on the throne. And he, he that sat on the th set what, and he that sat was to look upon like a jasper and sardine stone. So what do you want to do? You want to Google what does a jasper and sardine stone look like? That's what the 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 
behold, the throne was set in, and one, and the one that sat on the throne, that's what he looked like. Because he says, and he that sat was to look upon like a jasper and sardine stone. So why haven't you figured it out to Google what does a jasper and sardine stone look like? Okay, so go do it. And there was a rainbow round about the throne in sight like unto an emerald. And round about the throne were four and twenty seats. And upon the seats I saw four and twenty elders sitting, clothed in white raiment, and they had on their heads crowns of gold. And out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunderings and voices, and there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne. That is the holy, the flames of the Holy Spirit, if you don't know. The seven lamps, seven lamps of fire, that's the Holy Spirit, that's before God, uh, Jesus, you know, God, the Father, and the Son, and the Spirit, they're together. Which are, see, like I said, which are the seven spirits of God, the seven spirits, so he has seven spirits, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit. And before the throne, there was a sea of glass like unto crystal, and in the midst of the throne... And round about the throne were four seats, uh, four beasts full of eyes before, the, before and behind. Okay, so this is talking about the four beasts. Okay. Uh, okay, he had a he had a book. Uh, Jesus Christ had a book sealed with seven seals. Uh, okay. Okay, let me see. Where's the part? Um, this is talking about the seals. Hold on. Okay, this is him. King Symphon. Uh, oh, okay, okay. This is what I want to show you. The the characteristics of, of Jesus Christ. Uh, okay. Who is, uh, ta -ta, okay, hold on, I'm trying to get to the part where I want to show you, I want to read to you, John, okay, um, um, Revelation 1, chapter, I mean, uh, verse 10, I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet. Funny, we know Jesus Christ has a deep voice. And, uh, you know, it's talking about also the return of God with a trumpet, you know, the sound of a trump. Saying, I am Alpha and Omega. That could only be Jesus Christ himself because... He will not send a ministering angel, you know, to say, I am Alpha and Omega, you know, he would, he would be himself, you know, because remember God's glory, he doesn't give to anyone. He wouldn't send an angel to, okay, tell John, I am the Alpha and the Omega on my behalf. No, it would be him himself, you know, that's Jesus himself saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last, and what thou seest write in a book. And send it unto the seven churches. Okay. And and I turned to see the voice that spake with me. And, and being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, Jesus, clothed, clothed with a garment down to the foot. So he had like a long robe, a long robe down to the foot. And girt about the paps with a golden girdle. So on his on his chest, on his breast, he had like a breastplate, a golden. Basically, he had a um, a golden breastplate. You know, a golden breastplate. Now look, this is the true God, Jesus. His head and his hairs were white, white. Like wool, see, like wool, 
okay i know you can't see it because this phone doesn't really focus but whatever i'm reading to you uh his head and his hairs were white like wool meaning the hairs on his head and his hairs were white like wool as white as snow and his eyes were as a flame of fire so his eyes must have been reddish as a flame of fire reddish eyes and his feet like unto fine brass as if they burned in a furnace so it would be burnt brass you know google what does burn burn brass look like you already i already told you about the sardine and jasper stone google sardine jasper stone and then also then google fine brass burnt brass because it's like if it would burn in a furnace that is and his feet like unto fine brass so his feet were like this this color like if it was a uh, burnt brass and his voice as the sound of many waters so he had a deep voice uh, okay uh, okay and he had in his right hand seven stars which are the seven churches and out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword I believe this is because when God speaks his words, his mouth, when he speaks, he gets things done. He can do things just by speaking it. So I believe that's why it says, uh, it went a two, sharp to a sword because his voice commands action. Uh... And his countenance, so his, um, you know, like his um, countenance, you know, his countenance was as the sun shineth in his strength. So he was shining, you know, he was also shining his countenance. He had shine. Light was emitting from him. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. And he laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, Fear not, I am the first and the last. I am he that liveth and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And have the keys of hell and of death. You see? So, if the Bible reveals to you. Focus again. If the Bible reveals to you. Jesus Christ. And he already showed you right there, you know, why, why does the world insist, keep insisting on their, on their foolish stupidity to not, not understand this and not read it and not understand that when they present to you, uh, this European Jesus, that you know that it's a false lie of the devil, because I already told you that he is the father of lies. And that image came from who? The lie, the lying church. The, their, their master is the father of lies. So, of course, the mother harlot Catholic church um, made up this image of the Pope's son, Cesar Boger. And that is the, they said, here's your God. But it's a fake image. It's not true. It's not, it's not authentic. It's not. There's no truth to it, you see? So I, wanna, I wanted to show you that, to liberate you and show you the truth, you know? Just, just to show you a little bit more about the true Son of God, Jesus Christ, you know? That He's not no white European, you know? That's a lie. Right here, I revealed it to you right now. I spoke directly from the King James uh, Bible, Book of Revelation. So, <laughs> you know... I see people, I see a lot of people, oh, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. And they're putting false images of Jesus Christ. I mean, if you're going <laughs> to, you know, 
there's actually no image of him. There's no real image of him because there's no picture of him. There is just the understanding of what he looks like. You know, that his hairs on his head are, are wool, white wool. That his color is not white or red. You know, because people in the world are so foolish, they say, they say white. There's actually no such thing as white. The Bible tells you it's Edom, which is red, pink, you know. The thing is, some, you know, some white people, they look like a creamy white, you know. And some people are pink and some of them are red, 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 like, like red, you know. Even their heads, their hairs are red. That's why they are from the, from the nation of Edom. From who lived in where? Edomia. In the land of Edomia. Their father, their first father is Esau. Esau, a son of Abraham, brother to Jacob, but not the, not the ones that God chose to be the Jews. You know? So it's pretty obvious if, if the Edomites were not chosen to be the Jews and they are the Romans or the Grecians or Gentiles, then their image of a, of a, of a European Christ is false because, because Christ, the Son of God, is a, is a king from the nation of the true Jews. And uh, the Jacob... Is the one who became uh, um, Jacob um, uh, Israel, you know? So, duh, duh. <laughs> I mean, get your heads into it. I mean, people, come on. You know, like, why do you guys fall for stupidity of the worldly understanding and Satan, you know? The Bible tells you the dragon deceives the world. You know, he's the enemy, the enemy, basically the enemy of the Lord is giving you the understanding of him. They killed him. They speared him. The Romans speared him. And then the Catholic Church burst on the scene, blaspheming God, marrying their paganism. And they took over the, the true church of God, the, the Jesus that he left with his disciples they destroyed it, came up with this Catholic uh, uh, pagan mumbo-jumbo, you know. That's why they're over there in Rome chanting, they're chanting songs, cardinals dressed in red, holding rose, uh, rosaries. What is a rosary? I mean, it's not even in the Bible, rosary. I got a, I, I got a Catholic church right here around the corner. Every time I look at all those people, I say, man, look at all those deceived people parents you know they got like a school there they're always um lining up with their cars to pick up they they taking them to them satanic catholic schools who knows what kind of garbage they teaching them kids you know all types of fake stuff pagan junk you know and i see that i go man this world is, is so deceived man the bible is so true it's just so true you know it's so real because when you learn the truth of the Bible, eh, the world, they just these words just pop out of you, you know. You see the world, how deceived they are. The Catholics are saying, oh, we are the true God. We are the true God. And they're the, they're the synagogue of Satan, you know, straight up, you know. They're so deceived. They're clouded. It's like their eyes, they have a haze, you know, over their heart. that nothing will penetrate, you know. Only a miracle, only a miracle can can save these people, you know. And, and you see the this Catholic junk all over the world. That's why the Bible says the cup of abomination that has spread throughout the whole world to the kings and the nations, you know. <laughs> the Bible reveals it all. See, and I just revealed to you that they've been showing a false Jesus, you know. Right straight from the Bible. I break it down, you know. I told you. So, yeah, you know, maybe next time I'll teach you something else, you know. Maybe next time I'll reveal something else to you true. Just do what I tell you and listen to me and I won't steer you wrong. I'll show you. Synagogue Pope, man. I, that guy is... Every time I see that guy, I want to... I don't know. I can't do nothing, but... I just say, man, what an evil... 
What an evil individual that Catholic Church is, man. All this gold Roman pillars and fancy little trinkets. And down there on the very same Roman, you go down into them catacombs under that church. It's a freaking Satan worshiping death tomb down there. I'm telling you, you know, you know, those Satanists are sacrificing children and and doing all types of perverse things down there i'm telling you oh i'm telling you i'm telling you that's what they do that's what they do so yeah peace i'll catch you next time with more what audio video holy spirit wisdom amen peace out god bless you all